Hey beautiful, happy spring, and I wanted to come at you and share my hair care routine for the next month. My wig season is over, and I will be doing a couple more Quick Weave Chronicles to share um, how that went and what I thought of the hair that I bought. I kept all the information, so I'll be sharing how I, the wigs that I had went. Right now, I want to share with you what I'm doing now for my natural hair. As you can see, I have a twist out. I have transitioned over to twist outs and either that or I'll have it braided up. For the rest of April, I am using the L'Oreal Total Repair Extreme and Total Repair 5 product line. So that's what I'm going to be using for the rest of April and then I'll come back at you and share with you my thoughts on it and how it works. I have all the products from the line except the Split In Mender which I'm on the lookout for. So I'm going to share my regimen here and you can let me know in the comments if you try any of this stuff and what you think of it. So I do have a couple of products that are not uh, Total Repair 5 or Extreme that I also point out. So what I'm using as a co-wash is the either the Extreme Restructuring Conditioner. This is the 599 size. As you can see it's huge. This is from Target. Or the Total Repair 5 Conditioner. These have great slip, so they work perfect as a co-wash. Um, I really like them as a co-wash. They do a great job, so that's what I've been using as a co-wash. As a deep conditioner, I have two products that I'll be using either once or twice a week. I have been washing my hair and conditioning it in either braids or two-strand twists while I'm in the shower. So every night, I braid it up and two-strand twist it. And then I'll apply this usually in the shower as well after co-washing and then finish my shower and then rinse this out. So I have the Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. And you, you've you seen this before. This has been out a while. I have tried this before and I really liked it. Didn't have all the other products in the line though. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it works with conjunction with everything else. I have two of these, so I'll be using these up. And Andrea Motliano, which I watch, who I watch, she said a while ago, and that's what kind of tipped me over the fence to buy this, was that it was a dupe for the macadamia oil deep repair mask. And I have actually tried that, and it is it does have the same consistency. I personally wasn't that impressed with the deep repair mask, but that's a topic for another video. Um, but I do like this. It is very nice. And if you actually want to use this for a co-wash, you could because this has slip as well. Not as much as the liquid conditioners, but it does have slip. Also from the line is the Total Repair Extreme Emergency Recovery Mask. Now, this is new. And this was $5.99 as well at Target. I have not tried this before, so I'll have to give you, you know, my thoughts on this, but I think that it's a little thicker than the one in the jar. Now, how much different it'll be, like, I don't know, but it is a little thicker than the one in the jar. It's in the tube, and I don't know if this is just different packaging that they're trying to like make us think this is better or it's actually going to be better. So we'll see. Last but not least from this line, at least out of the stuff that I have, is the Total Repair 5 Extraordinary Oil. Now there's actually two different oils. I have not been able to get my hands on the other one. There, This one is for all hair types and there is another one that is um, for coarse hair. And I feel like they used to have one for fine hair that they took off the market. But there is another one that says multi-purpose instead of extraordinary on it. And I have not been able to find that one in store. I bought this one at Walmart. And when I was at Target the other day, I have went to get a bigger conditioner. They didn't even have any of these. The other thing they didn't have was the split-in treatment which is this little bottle, and you're just supposed to apply it to your ends. So I will be picking that up. If I find it, I'll stay on the lookout for it. So what I've been doing is co-washing every other day and then deep treating either once or twice a week. So the other two items I have with my regimen, I do have a tiny shampoo in this product line. It's the Extreme Shampoo, and 
I have not been using this. And what I have been using as a shampoo has been the Carol's Daughter Rosemary Mint Clarifying Sulfate-Free Shampoo. I am almost out of it. I completely love this product. It is perfect for if you are stretching a style maybe over a few days and maybe stretching a style a little longer than you should. This gets rid of all the gunk, anything on your scalp, anything on your hair. It feels amazing. It tingles, but not too much. It's not too extreme. It smells great. Your hair feels clean, but not that weird squeaky clean where you feel like you've stripped everything out of it, but it does feel clean. Your scalp feels clean. It cleans your scalp even if you have your hair still in braids. It does not create tons and tons of suds. I will purchase this again. And the thing is, is I didn't even buy this the first time. I got this for free as, I don't know what, I think I was buying the Manoi line and you got a free shampoo and I just picked this one because I usually use Herbal Essences, um, it was called Degunkify, now I don't remember what it's called, Squeaky Clean, it's green. It's their clarifying shampoo and that's usually what I use to erase any buildup. And I said, okay, I'll get this and try this out, but this, oh my goodness. And this bottle has lasted me because, of course, you don't need to use it every time you wash your hair. If you'd like to actually use a shampoo, I wouldn't suggest using this. Only, you know, every once in a while to really, like, clear everything off. So, this has lasted me about six months, maybe. And you don't need to use a lot. So, that's the other thing. But I will be purchasing this again. I think this is the only Carol's Daughter thing I'll probably be purchasing again. I saw some new skincare from her at Target but um, that I might get. But as far as hair goes... Oh my goodness. Love that. So highly recommend that. It was 16 bucks, which is a lot. I know, but it's amazing. And then the other thing, I was actually, for about a week, I tried just to use the Total Repair product. So I was only using tw doing twist outs with this oil. And while my hair was sort of soft, it wasn't as soft as I would have liked, and I did not, it was, I don't want to say fly away, but my hair was very light. It didn't have any weight or, you know, body to it, just using this. So I had to add my live, my cream hair dress that has never failed me. So this, and I have to, I'm going to have to buy another one of these. Because look at that, it's almost all gone. But... Just using the oil didn't work. And I did try to just use the oil, but it didn't work. I needed to add some other stuff. I needed to add some lift to it because it didn't give me enough weight or heft to my hair to make my hair have any body or movement. And I also, it gave it shine, but not the luster you get with a cream hair product. So for me, I couldn't just use it, but maybe you'll want to try and use it just for your twist outs or just for your hairstyles and not add any other products. But that's what's going on for me for my hair regimen for the rest of April. So let me know in the comments if you've tried this L'Oreal Total Repair line. This is supposed to be for extremely damaged, over-processed hair, which I don't feel like I have, but I thought it would be a good one to try to sort of like jumpstart my hair care regimen for the spring and moving into summer. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.